My humble pranam to all my gurujans and dear friends. Uh, strange are these times and stranger is my topic today. Uh, while the world grapples with this ongoing crisis of immense magnitude, the astrology community as well as the entire world has well understood the powers of invisible. So invisible is my topic today. 99.9% uh, .9 of the times we fail to see uh, what I am going to present today. Hola, sir. Uh, is my voice and everything clear? Madam, you are audible. Uh, Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, Lenin once said, and I quote here, there are decades where nothing happens, and then there are weeks where decades happen. Uh, the topic that I will be talking on today is Aprakash Grahas, Upgrahas, and Pranpad. I'm extremely thankful to Justice S.N. Kapoor, a mentor who always encourages us and makes sure that we write on various topics. I'm also thankful to Chari sir, who's uh, worked with me uh, across the structure of this paper. So uh, firstly, let us talk about what are these terms, Upgraha. Upgraha's meaning confinement, something that holds us from doing anything that one wishes to. It is confinement or seizure, and they, they are basically called the shadow planets or Chaya Grahas. And uh, they are uh, mathematical points and not physically uh, present planets like the Rahu and Ketu. Upgrahas have a power to control us. Upgra in indicates inferiority while the Graha is a planet. These are the portions belonging to sun and other planets respectively and produce painful consequences. In Brahat Parashar, no study can be complete without the classical references. In Brahat Parashar Hora Shastra, the third chapter uh, talks about the five Aprakash Grahas, five Upgrahas, and Pranpad. These do not have a body of their own, as I said, but they affect the life of a native as a, at a very subtle level. In chapter 3, uh, Shlok 61 to 65, the calculations of these Upgrahas have been shown, which I will be taking up in, uh, in short uh, subsequently. Shlok 66 to 69 talks about calculation of Gulik and about the position of Gulik. 71 to 74 deal with the calculation of Pranpad. Chapter 27, Shloka 8 talks about Dhum, Vyatipat, Paridhi, Chap, Upketu, Pranpad and the effects of the non-luminous planets. Sri Gopesh Kumar Ojha also clarifies that Mandi is Gulik. Now we will also talk about there are various topics uh, some consider Mandi and Gulik to be the same, whereas some consider them to be different. In this uh, presentation, we are taking them, them as separate, and uh, we'll talk about it later. With the exception of Yam Gantak, Sri Oja says that the eight Upgrahas are malefic and produce bad results in the bhavs with which they occupy. Yam Gantak is considered powerful and confers same benefits as Jupiter. Mantreshwar ji in 25th chapter of Phaldipika also talks about these nine Upgrahas. Phaldipika chapter 25 lists Gulikadi Upgrahas. Shlok 1 to 4 enumerates calculations. 6 to 14 discuss the effects of Gulik. 15 to 18 throw light on association of Gulik with other planets. 15 to 18 discuss association of Gulik, Yam Gantak, Ardha Prahar, etc. Uh, 27 to 29 talk about their appearance, which again we will talk about here in this presentation. Shlok 26 talks about results of Upketu and 30 about the dispositor of Gulik. Jatak Parijat, chapter, uh, volume 2, chapter 19, Shlok 1 to 9, talk about effects of Gulik and their association. Then about uh, Gulik, Kal, Paridhi, etc. Jatak Tatva touches upon the Gulik's position on all days and talks about its, its association of uh, the of Gulik with Bhav Lords. Now, uh, example, the second Lord, if conjuncts with Gulik, it will give an angry disposition to the native. Shlok 175 to 182 talk about the eating habits. Gulik, when joins uh, Mars, the native lives on unwholesome food. 
254 says the native will suffer from eye diseases of second lord conjoined saturn mars and gulik kalidas ji in his uttar kalamrit recommends the use of mandi for the purpose of lagna shuddhi or rectification of uh, rising sign in lagna sarvanch sarvarth chintamani mentions these uh, upgrahas and aparakras grahas at various places chapter 1 calls mandi as son of saturn shani sutah uh, 133 to 35 deals with calculation of gulik and mandi uh, chapter 2 uh, has if more than one planet is it is in lagan with gulik and in trines there are rahu and gulik are in lagan and the lagan lord is a malefic planet the and rahu is in lagan one is prone to be cheated or suffers at the hands of thieves and government officials so just at a glance this can be seen and uh, ascertained as to what is going to happen chapter 7 to 8 talks about various diseases of the eyes uh, chapter 3 uh, talks that if second lord is with saturn mars and gulik and in navmansh goes to debilitation or in even sign one eats forbidden food so that is about the eating habits Uh, sixth house uh, also uh, says that when gulik is in sixth house with aspect of sun rahu and mars and there is no benefit present then there can be cough asthma and consumption etc chapter 8 shlok 19 says that if rahu and mandi occupy 10th bhav or rahu and ketu are in 8th and 9th lord is debilitated the native passes cruel orders so there are many many references in sarvat chintamani i have not taken all of them but uh, you can definitely go through them so therefore we will divide these uh, shadow groups into three basic uh, categories group 1 is rahu and ketu the headless and bodiless uh, uh, bodies that we all know about uh, which are formed as uh, which are the points through the where the moon passes through the ecliptic ecliptic today we will not be talking about them we will focus more on group 2 and group 3 group 2 talks about the aprakash grahas which are points calculated based on the degree of the sun and group 3 is the upgrahas which are the shadowy suns of the planets now how these upgrahas influence our mind i found this very uh, beautiful uh, picture on the internet and i have used it here now uh, taking one example if mercury uh, mercury as we all know is a karak for intelligence and if any of the upgrahas or aprakash grahas has an influence on mercury it will affect the intelligence of the person it will affect the speech the way uh, the uh, the logical capabilities and the tact of a person uh, if uh, it associates with saturn if uh, aprakash grahas and upgrahas associate any way with saturn it will disturb the structure and discipline in a person so that is how these these basically these planets will cast shadow on the karakatvas of that basic planet due to association now coming to the calculations the mathematical part uh, this is very simply explained here uh, you can uh, allow if one has to calculate dhum we have to add 133 degrees 20 minutes in the longitude of sun so uh, here as you see very uh, simple calculations are mentioned which can be used uh, for the calculation of uh, these upgrahas sorry the aprakash grahas now upgrahas can be derived by dividing the day and night into eight equal parts ruled by seven of the planets with one portion being left at the blank uh, left blank at the at the end which belongs to the lagan and all of these seven planets are lorded by the different planets so coming back to the list we have the list in aprakash grahas we have dhum paridhi or parivesh indrachap or kodand vyatipat or path and upketu and for upgrahas we have kal mrityu yam gantak ardh prahar gulik and mandi and as you can see the planets against them so they behave a lot like the planets which they belong to we will also be talking about the calculation of pranpath but that will come a little while later as we go through this now are these upgrahas and aprakash grahas always bad no they also uh, confer benefic results uh, the general effects of yam gantak paridhi ardh prahar and indrachap 
which are the sons of jupiter moon Mer venus and mercury they increase their power to do good when the war lord that is the lord of the day of birth and the lagan is strong in the horoscope uh, when conjunctions and placements of paridhi yam gantak ardha prahar and indra chap are there they tend to upgrade those planets and bhavs in the same way their embodied fathers would although it may happen suddenly and unexpectedly and unpredictably uh, paridhi yam gantak ardha prahar and indra chap tend to give greater beneficial effects in the first fourth fifth and ninth houses so uh, these are also beneficial uh, in the coming examples we will also see where they were good and where they were not good now the important thing whether it is gulik and mandi or it is gulik or mandi now here i have uh, with me uh, a, a picture shared of uh, the ramanatha swami temple wherein you can see shani bhagwan with uh, mandi and gulik taking this as a reference uh, we will conclude that uh, it is mandi and gulik and not mandi or gulik uh, though in a lot of uh, north indian texts it is taken as Ma Ma mandi or gulik considering them to be the same especially shri goper gopesh kumar ojha in brahat parashar uh, hora shastra clarifies that mandi is gulik but we will go by the other option according to the sarvarth chintamani where which states that they are different now coming to the appearance and effects of aprakash grahas we'll firstly take aprakash grahas then ubgrahas and then go to the pranpad now the pictures that i have taken is uh, not the exact appearance but uh, i've tried to connect things to make it more interesting because otherwise this topic will be extremely drab uh, dhoom dhoom or dhoom Uh, dhuma it is uh, spelled in the different manner also it is the smoke mist fumes and incense which is felt dhoom is a cluster of smoke or a star with uh, it is also a star with tail which we generally call dhoom ketu uh, at times it is visible in the east or west for many days now dhoom is a violent son of mars and its position indicates placement of highest heat and violence the point where your head simply burns and creates fear from burning heat and fire and causes mental mental anguish this was very beautifully explained in our post visharad class the other day by dr mishra now dhoom wherever it it causes uh, dhua or smoke you know it uh, thereby uh, the entire uh, significations of the house wherever it is placed or the planet it conjuncts with it becomes very smoky unclear so he was also discussing the chart of shri rajiv gandhi his uh, dhoom is placed in the fifth house and we can all see the results uh, dhoom uh, dhoom's good qualities are also there and it is expressed it is considered to be good in houses 3 6 9 10 and 11 coming to vyatipat vyatipat or utpat or path as the name suggests it belongs to rahu and it is an indicator of calamity uh it creates sudden chaos and turmoil like rahu does and uh, it also creates fear of animals with horns and is instrumental in giving death from a four legged animals its good qualities are expressed when it is in 3 6 9 10 and 11th houses parivesh or paridhi as the name suggests it is a boundary or a fence or an enclosure so parivesh is like a circular disk around the sun or uh, moon i have tried to explain with this picture uh, it causes dirt and pollution as well as destruction of surrounding factors and it is like the negative moon it gives good results in all bhavs except the 7th and 12th house indra chap or kodand which belongs to which behaves like venus is uh, causes terrible destruction and piercing in where whichever house it is now supposing uh, uh, indra indra chap is placed in the fourth house it can cause sudden heart problems so it is like a piercing arrow which causes total destruction it is also uh, like the anger of parashuram it gives injury from stone or weapon to the native from fall from a house vehicle or a tree now indra chap can be visible we talk we call it our uh, humble rainbow and it it can be seen in the rains during daytime 
and in all the bhavs except in the 8th and 12th it is considered good upketu is like the negative ketu and create and can create considerable destruction and it is uh, positive in all other houses except the 7th 8th and 12th house now coming to the uh, before i come to the uh, upgrahas there are certain things which i would like to add there are basically ab upgrahas as i said are the highest level of negative karmas or sins that one has uh, undergone and there are three levels of affliction by a prakash grahas firstly if it is placed in the same rashi as any other planet it talks about the adrar karms or uh, and can bring about affliction to various resources it can cause about, about uh, affliction to resources now if there is a, it is placed in with some planet uh, supposing mercury and it falls in the fourth house a person may feel that i have i lack resources related to my education perhaps i do not have access to a good library a good book perhaps nobody at home is able to help me with my education so there will be continuous uh, you know feeling in that person that i lack these particular resources and it amounts to the adrar karma uh if it falls in the same nakshatra with a planet it amounts to the adrar karmas and it uh, sorry if it uh, falls in the same nakshatra with a planet it amounts to the dridadrid karmas and it gives affliction of mind and buddhi uh if it falls in the same navmansh pad it gives affliction to one's fortune or bhagya and we will term it as drid karms which cannot be fixed now when aprakash grahas uh, make an association with the dispositor of sun moon and lagn what are the results when aprakash graha makes an association with the dispositor of surya or sun the lineage is hurt and the procreative capabilities are affected and this is called the curse of the brahma and the best remedy for this is the gayatri mantra when aprakash grahas uh, uh, make an association with the dispositor of the moon the longevity is hurt and it is uh, called the curse of the shiv and uh, mahamrityunjay mantra is considered the best remedy here when aprakash grahas make an association with lagan lord the wisdom or gyan is affected and uh, it also destroys one's uh, thinking capability or brain or buddhi as we call it this is called the curse of the vishnu and uh, vishnu gayatri is the uh, recitation is the remedy for this one moving on to the upgrahas what is their appearance and what are the effects upgrahas are invisible planets or secondary planets and they are derived from primary planetary position as we saw earlier uh, parashir ji clearly stated that allotted portion of grahas are also ruled by upgrahas therefore guru yam will belong to yam gantak surya will uh, belong to kal mangal to mrityu so on and so forth we begin with kal kal belongs to sun it is a malefic upgrah similar to sun and normally during the kal's dispositors dasha or antar dasha the bad events can take place now uh, we will also come as to when these give uh, results so basically it is the dispositors uh, period or the planet they are conjunct with in both of these scenarios they are given uh, they are seen to give results kal gives good results in 3 6 9 10 and 11 bhavas coming to mrityu mrityu gives mrityu tulya kasht wherever it is placed in terms of physical suffering and death uh, we all in astrology have studied about eight various types of mrityu so depending on the uh, category or grade of which it is uh, it gives that kind of sufferings yam gantak yam gantak belongs to jupiter it is similar to jupiter and it gives life giving substances as jupiter or jeev does the planet in conjunction with yam gantak and the bhav occupied by it will flourish and give good results uh, except in the 6th it is considered good ardh prahar it is similar to mercury and situated in benefic vargas in the bhav with more benefic windus and the ashtak varg gives very good results the rest will produce evil result it is considered good in 6th and 12th houses 
and uh, during their dasha and antar events like court cases compromising of a case, a case writing down agreements signing of new business deals etc may take place gulik gulik is uh, considered the son of saturn is highly malefic has highly malefic influence and it kind of slows things down it brings the pace of the things extremely slow thereby gives a frustration to the native as to कुछ हो भी रहा है या नहीं वेदर थिंग्स आर मूविंग और नॉट इफ द डिस्पोजिटर ऑफ द ग्लूगुलिक इफ इट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इन ओन फ्रेंडली ऑन एक्सोल्टेड साइन इट मेक्स द नेटिव वेरी हैंडसम फेमस एंड रूलर ऑफ द अर्थ इफ द डिस्पोजिटर ऑफ गुलिक इज इन केंद्र और त्रिकोण एंड इज स्ट्रॉन्ग देन इन वन गिव्स इट गिव्स राजयोग एंड मेक्स अ पर्सन अ वेरी पावरफुल रूलर इट इज कंसिडर्ड गुड इन थ्री सिक्स टेन एंड इलेवन हाउसेज नाउ as far as the conjunction of gulik is uh, placed is concerned if it is in conjunction with sun it indicates difficulties to the father but one should also consider d12 chart and d30 chart without making coming to any conclusion if it is placed with moon it can give trouble to the mother if it mars it can uh, destroy the happiness of the brothers or from the brothers also give separation Uh, thereby with mercury jupiter venus and rahu ketu it will give uh, difficulties related to the karakatvas of these planets mandi mandi is also related to saturn and it is said to have eclipsing powers it kind of swallows up the luminaries it is a most it is one of the most harmful of grahas especially when it is also related to saturn it is good in third 10th and 11th and especially in earth for uh, those who wish to learn astrology and i'm sure a lot of us here must be having mandi in the eighth house now when do we get the results in the dashas the good or bad indicated by these ugras is experienced and uh, it is related to the bhav where they happen to be in conjunction when in conjunction they normally uh, during the dasha and antar dasha of the conjoined planet ugras will give their results during the dasha of lords and dispositors of ugras they will give 50% of the results any planet that is opposite to an ugra during its dasha and antar dasha 75% of the results can be seen transit during the transit of shani on gulik the person loses his wealth honor and fame now please do not take this as thumb rules we will have to see the chart as a whole if the lord of the house is uh, uh, aspecting the house or if there is an aspect of jupiter or any benefic planet then definitely these results will be curtailed or the the quantum of the results will definitely be uh, down coming to pranpad which is our last thing here pranpad is another special lagna which is calculated from the position of the sun at sunrise uh, the birth is auspicious or shubh birth if pranpad falls in the second fourth 5th 9th 10th and 11th bhav counted from the natal lagan in other uh, bhavas if the pranpad falls it is called an ashubh birth or inauspicious birth now this is how we calculate pranpad uh, we convert the given time of birth into vighati and divide the same by 15 and the result ra resultant rashi degrees etc are to be added to sun if it falls in the movable rashi which will yield pranpad if it is in fixed rashi at 240 degrees and if it in dual rashi 120 degrees to be added to get pranpad now we come to certain example charts the example charts have just been picked up randomly from anywhere and uh, i am i am bringing those to you uh, this is the chart of dr hargobind khurana who was a biochemist a nobel laureate of indian origin and uh, he won the nobel prize uh for the order, uh, for his research on the order of nucleotides in nucleic acid now this is his uh, chart wherein i have mentioned the upgrahas or prakash grahas and pranpad firstly when we look at the pranpad it falls in the ninth house which shows a shubh birth now uh, dr khurana completed his bachelor's and master's degree in the dasha of rahu rahu and his phd in the dasha of Oh. all right so if uh, uh, you come to if you see where the rahu is placed here it is in the 5th house 
and uh, we have yam gantak uh, extremely opposite in here in the 11th house in rahu mars in 1960 he was he became the co director of institute for enzyme research at university of wisconsin in 1962 in jupiter jupiter he was selected as professor of biochemistry here jupiter is the 8th and 11th lord and is has an association with yam gantak in the opposite houses um, opposite house he became a us citizen in 1966 in the dasha of rahu saturn mercury saturn here is in the 5th house mercury is in the 9th house along with mrityu and pranpad Nobel lecture was delivered on 12 12 1968 in Jupiter Ketu again the association of 11th house and Yam Gantak now uh, going systematically here lagn has moon along with dhum and mandi which makes a person valiant i will just be reading the results here and it is for you all to either take them or leave them uh, let us uh, the effort is to see whether these things work or not uh it makes a person valiant endowed with beautiful eyes and stupefied in disposition a person has a lean body sickly slowly completes his work in, in hand and prospers due to self efforts second house has kal which can give obstacles in education and one may lose one's property fourth house has parivesh which makes a person extremely cheerful well wisher of even enemies is extremely amicable skillful in music and sin- and singing seventh house has indrachap which makes one wealthy endowed with all virtues is learned in shastras religious and agreeable upketu also is there along with uh, indrachap which makes a person a risk taker and uh, wit will enjoy pleasures in life Ninth house has Mrityu and Pranpad. Uh, Mrityu, uh, these are considered Pranpad is good. The person is endowed with sons, is rich, fortunate, has a very pleasant appearance, serves others, and always satisfied and is very clear-sighted. Tenth house having Vyatipat and Ardhprahar makes a person wealthy, engages in religious activities, is extremely wise, a visionary, and. Uh, uh, educated intelligent engages in good deeds completes all his work in hand 11th house having one, yam gantak helps in fulfillment of all his desires and one gains due to wife and children there are profits in business and one lives abroad 12th house blick uh, is sinful and one may have defective limbs next uh, we come to the chart of uh, bill gates an american business magnet investor author philanthropist humanitarian and principal founder of microsoft corporation apart from all that we know he is also one of the wealthiest persons this is his chart uh, he was born here Pla- pranpad falls in the 6th house which is not considered good uh, born in saturn dasha 8th and 9th lord which is exalted in 5th house uh, uh, saturn rahu Uh, rahu is in the 6th house along with Paripe- parivesh and pranpad he co-founded microsoft with childhood friend paul allen in 1955 in the dasha of mercury mercury uh, mercury is the lagan lord placed in 4th uh, house is also exalted along with kal and upketu since 1995 to 2017 jupiter sun and moon he had the rich title of richest person in the forbes uh, except four years from 2010 to 2013 in october 2017 in moon venus which is uh, 12th and 5th lord in uh, sorry moon venus he was uh, surpassed by jeff bezos the amazon founder here lagn has yam gantak and ardhprahar when yam gantak falls in the lagan of a person becomes really very good it uh, ardh prahar makes the person intelligent talks after proper thought is knower of shastras yam gantak will give a lean body a weak body sickly dull witted uh, lunatic disabled and miserable second house having gulik it restrains through conservative forces within the family we all know he had very serious differences of opinion with his father 
third house has uh, jupiter along with indrachap and mandi uh, makes a person a miser versed in many arts uh, sometimes unfriendly earns due to courage and bravery unfriendly neighbors unhappiness from sib siblings trouble due to unwanted talks while traveling fourth house has mars mercury along with kal and upketu may give troubled married life which we recently saw upketu makes one charming virtuous gentle interested in vedas and be always happy sixth house has rahu along with parivesh and pranpat makes one wealthy endowed with children materialistic well wisher to others destroyer of en enemies uh, sub uh, pranpad also makes one uh, subdued by relatives and enemies has severe digestive troubles unkind affluent short lived ninth house dhoom endowed with sons and fortunes rich honorable kind religious well disposed to relatives Twelfth house has Ketu along uh, with Mrityu and Vyatipat, makes one angry, skillful in many activities, physically disabled, unfaithful to own religion, hates kin at hates kithan kin, may have an intercaste marriage. The other chart is of uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Here also we have Yamgantak in the lagan, and. Uh, uh, Pranpad falls in the fifth house, which gives a very auspicious birth. So uh, we can do a study of this. Second house here, when it has uh, Gulik, it uh, gives restraint from conservative forces in the family, and the person will have a very slow process of accumulating wealth. Uh, may have an unsightly appearance and may be penniless. Sec third house Mandi will uh, make the Uh, speech a little harsh at times fourth house has kal and vyatipat and the person may have obstacles in education and lose one's property and uh, diseased and landed property may suffer uh, may be an agriculturist related to over uh, animal husbandry and overall the person may be wealthy enough fifth house has dhoom and pranpad dhoom may give limited progeny uh, and may make one bereft of friends and devoid of financial wealth uh, coming to the 10th house has parivesh where uh, a person is very well versed in various arts discipline is strong devoid of anger is learned in shastras respects everybody and helps the needy is also engaged in religious activities and constructs temples 11th house has venus and upketu a person acquires gains is religious honorable affluent fortunate and valiant in the chart makes one gainful free from diseases fiery disposition etc sun along with ardh prahar uh, is in the 12th house there may be some kind of unhappiness in the family life and there may be regal fines this is the chart of queen elizabeth and uh, uh, we all know she is the queen of united kingdom and other commonwealth realms Uh, this is her chart, uh, and uh, the Pranpad here falls in the seventh house, uh, making it an inauspicious birth. And we know during the regime of uh, Queen Elizabeth, the British Empire uh, became very small. It shrunk a lot in size. There were many territories which uh, were no no more a part of the British Empire. I will uh, now have the chart of Prince Philip, uh, the spouse of Queen Elizabeth. prince philip of greek greece and denmark the purpose of putting this uh, chart here was to discuss a little about the marriage these uh, this couple was married for 73 years and it is very recently that prince philip expired and uh, what i see here and which makes things very uh, clear whenever we see the marital bliss of the person we look at the eighth house the second house and the fourth house now eighth house has its lord moon posited there second house of family has yamgantak and the fourth house has parivesh so the though this person has not been at home most of the times but the marital bliss has continued for 73 long years now coming to the chart of independent india i also try to put it up uh, for mundane events and uh, here when 
we see the third and ninth house this is always a challenge the third house already has moon mercury saturn venus sun and pluto along with that there are there is also vyatipat and kal and in the house opposite to it the ninth house has parivesh now we all know the third house uh, which includes our neighbors the third house which includes our media has always been a challenge for us uh, vyatipat and kal adding to the problems there and uh, if we look at the vastu the north of northeast is again a territory which is always facing a lot of challenges so this is the chart of independent india now coming to the chart of dr manmohan singh here i have tried to analyze his 10th house of profession and here are the results dr singh has sun mercury and pranapad in the 10th house and the results state that the person will be valiant intelligent skillful and expert in carrying out royal orders and worships gods lagna has parivesh which makes him knowledgeable truthful peaceful wealthy endowed with children cleanliness charitable dear to elders and guru has danger from poisonous animals uh, difficulties in life mental grief troubled with debts mandi also in the lagna makes one sickly lean bodied completes work very slowly in hand and prospers due to self effort gulik uh, makes a person sickly sinful crafty sorrowful uh, second house has saturn wherein dhoom is posited it is conjunct with its dispositor and makes one sickly wealthy troubles with limb represented by the sign in the second house and here the sign happens to be the 10th and uh, the person is also uh, dull witted lacks virility and has speech troubles which we often see third house has rahu and kal in the third house which makes one hate relatives is wealthy and charitable seventh house has vyatipat Uh, wherein a person may be troubled by miseries, uh, can be cruel, destructive, opposition with relatives, health troubles throughout, skin and diseases. Eighth house has Venus, Moon and Mars also. Uh, in the chart, one engages in others' work, can be uh, cruel, disabled, unfulfilled wishes may be there, troubled by bad dreams, unsuccessful and unfinished jobs and incessant troubles, uh, which uh, he has always faced throughout. Ninth house has Ketu and Jupiter, uh, along with Up Ketu, which makes one cheerful, helpful to all living beings. His enthusiasm in religious activities is very much. His uh, job is connected to bravery. He is honored for that, and is extremely hardworking. Eleventh house has Mithu, Ardh Prahar, uh, which makes one respect and honor the truth. He is endowed with wealth and pro property, and gets cooperation. Twelfth house has Yam Gantak, which uh, where a person may be disliked by others, even wife and children may desert him, and there may be difficulties in earning livelihood. Now these are the uh, results which have been mentioned by the classics, and I have uh, put them all here. So we may go with them, we may not go with them. Now here is the chart of uh, Jay Lalita, who was uh, a film actor and also served as five times the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. For over 14 years, between 1991 and 2016. Now, here in this chart, we only uh, thought of looking at the trick bhavas, which give us a lot of uh, uh, lot of indication related to what is going to happen. Now, the sixth house has Jupiter and Ketu. The eighth house has Up Ketu, Vyatipat, and Pranapad, and the twelfth house has Yam Gantak there. Now. Uh, the lagan has uh, dhoom mandi and gulik now i will again read out the results uh, a person may be uh, may lack in marital happiness may be unfortunate insults brahmins may have blood disorders has occult knowledge troubled by kings relatives and servants uh, 12th house has uh, yam gantak may be a narrow minded hates learned men and may be wicked uh she may also face the the native may also face troubles by relatives and servants so these are the results which uh, we got only by looking at these three houses uh, i also try to use uh, uh, the aprakash grahas and upgrahas in the mundane uh, charts and this is the chart for the year 2078 the samvatsar that we are presently running 
so i had made this some time in january last year and uh, the results are being shared as it is because uh, we have al already lived this year and you all can see whether this principle can be used or not now dhoom here is in the fourth house now when i have pointed things out in red i mean, mean they have been negative results and when they are in green it says they are in uh, they are positive the dhoom is in the fourth house of leo fourth house talks about lands crops may suffer due to unprecedented rainfall the real estate business hotel industry opposition mines and minerals industry may suffer setbacks forest and forest fires earthquake floods etc may take place educational institutions or educators may show discontent but the education process will go on smoothly there may be sudden accidents fires leading to heavy loss of public property uh, parivesh or paridhi as we call it falls in the lagan taurus it creates fear of water or drowning the people likely to suffer uh, from water getting accumulated in some part of the body third house of lungs is moon is also exalted here may be liable to be kidnapped or imprisonment uh, we can also associate it, associate this with the isolation that we had to suffer because of the corona uh, problem uh, there may be possibility of hospitalization and any kind of other isolation may be seen lagan uh, people health coping with disasters public health nation and character emotion and behavior of people so all of this uh, by the placement of parivesh here as you can see parivesh and mrityu falling in lagan so all these things were uh, suffering moving to uh, the 10th house which has uh, kodand or indrachap as we call it now indrachap is considered good in the 10th house of aquarius and it is since it is an upchay bhav it is endowed with progeny abundant wealth and famous now venus related activities the women movies festival luxury sector perfumeries will try to uh, try hard to find better and innovative ways to remain in the race and uh, they have been able to do so we see a lot of programs happening on the ott platform which was nowhere to be heard of in earlier times the uh, 10th house is also the king Uh, prestige parliament celebrities foreign trade revolution lawlessness all have all of these have seen an increase path or vyati path is in the 7th house of scorpio and uh, rahu governs crimes violence anti social elements and so does uh, vyati path and uh, we saw a rise in all of these things whether they were anti social elements or spread of diseases theft strikes mobs minorities unrest epidemics enemies etc suddenly saw a great increase electronic sector also uh, saw a great uh, increase which is also denoted by this uh, by rahu <clears throat> seventh house also talks about wars battles enemies and they all saw a great precedented rise Uh, upketu is also in the 10th house of aquarius which, which is again an upchay bhav and it behaves well there the computer industry saw an unprecedented growth during this past one year six has also perhaps represented by ketu and farmer agitation uh, i had written at that time may see its end too soon and which uh, eventually did happen uh, the 10th house also talks about the king and his prestige the parliament celebrities foreign trade they were all very good during this year the revolution and lawlessness were there but they were also all dealt with secretly and with an iron hand party in power may be endowed with happiness and fortune now all this was written a year back i'm just reading it the uh, results out to you so that we can at least decide as to where we stand with the analysis of the uh, use of upchay and aprakash gharas lagn pranprad uh, is in the 11th house of pisces again it is considered good here the parliament foreign alliances national treasures all will see good times gain from trade international relations agreements contracts with foreign governments and all were uh, in a very happy shape this year coming to upgrahs again in this samvatsar kundli 2078 uh, the earlier one the ones were the aprakash grahas now we talk about upgrahs uh, all those that i have marked in green will give a positive response and those marked in red will give a negative response now please do not uh, miss that jupiter is aspecting the second house of wealth 
now despite so many expenses around the year the government was able to give vaccinations to millions of indian people for free uh, jupiter's aspect on the second house of tre treasury and presence of ardh prahar and yam gantak being there are somehow taking care of the economy which would have otherwise be been in a very bad shape let us uh, analyze the details here now kal is in the fifth house of virgo which will give an unprecedented happiness uh, to the uh, sun or the person in power king's health of the nation may be a cause of concern gold copper and wheat may likely are likely to fall fifth house also talks about the children of the nation the birth rate educational facilities pleasures sports etc speculation stock exchange which definitely faced unhappy times mrityu is in uh, lagan taurus which also shows some destruction so and uh, lagan also talks about people and general public health which suffered during this year since it has uh, it also talks about coping with disasters which became difficult and challenging nation and character and behavior of the people was was all uh, very shaken up during this last one year yam gantak in the second house in gemini and ardh prahar also in second house in gemini they are both uh, very good and have been a very big saving grace in the last one year and uh, jupiter uh, talks about banks finance fortune spending foreign uh, wealth and foreign trade they all increased birth rate also saw good times religious huts also saw good times and we were able to see the construction of uh, uh, some beautiful uh, temples coming up gold reserves increased it said uh, second house is the, also the financial condition of the nation revenues exchequer economy transactions export import purchasing power of people all this was very much under control and it all definitely looked northwards uh, mercury the intellectuals communication media all uh, were very good uh, during this last one year weather was generally good and normal uh, the financial how uh, condition of the nation several treaties must have been signed the economy on the whole did not see a, a downfall uh, there was also uh, a major role of intellectuals in the improvement of, of economy through their deliberations and intelligent feedbacks coming to gulik in third house again is an upchay bhav and it is considered good here the press continued to have an arrogant and derogatory stance but were not able to cause much harm traffic travel relations with neighboring countries should improve i have written i have absolutely no idea i am not in a position to ascertain whether they have improved or not uh, i think we can all uh, think through it as to what exactly has happened armed forces public opinion written agreements are all likely to achieve a prestigious position mandi in the fourth house again not considered good and fourth house land crops may have seen certain damages real estate holder hotel industry to see some unhappy times forest fires educational institutions facing trouble times due to closures and opposition may not see very happy times so this was all about the upgrahas aprakash grahas and pranpad thank you all for a very patient hearing